This is the real reason why I think Rory McIlroy's performance has dropped off in the last 10 weeks. Now, as we go through this video, I want you to think, right, and I even put down in the comments right now, why you think the reason is. And I have three major pieces of breaking news, and this might change your opinion on why you think his golf has taken a little bit of a slump. So let's just recap, in the last few weeks, Rory has suffered an alarming drop off the last 10 weeks, right? In his past three stroke play events, he has missed the cut of the Masters and the players. McElroy returns on his after his 34th birthday break due to emotional well-being. Now, this is a real big breaking story for me because Rory McElroy is the face of golf right now and is that person we've looked to in terms of the PGA Tour and DP World Tour to try and feel like he's galvanizing them all together. Now guys, as we go through this video, as I said before, I want you to get involved. I want you to get in the comments and let me know if any of what I'm saying is gonna sway your opinion. And always, these are breaking new stories. So please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a breaking new story. Okay, point number one. I think right now he is being scrutinized so much in the media. Now, think about this way, right? Every time he goes and does an interview, he's not only doing an interview for Roy McIlroy, but he is also interviewing on behalf of the PGA Tour. He's almost doing, in the best way possible, what a politician does as a full-time job. And don't forget, he is trying to play golf as well. Now, you could argue that Rory has brought a lot of that on himself, but he probably also feels that someone has to be that focus point. Now, I'm gonna say right now, that can't be good for performance when all your peers aren't doing anything like that. And let's be honest, would Tiger Woods in his pomp, would Jack Nicklaus in his pomp have done it? Would they have just gone, this is what I think PGA Tour, go and get it sorted? I think we all know what the answer to that is. Okay, point number two. He's definitely burning the candle at both ends. If we have a look at the other two players above him in the world rankings, we've got Scotty Scheffler and John Ram. okay? Have a look at those two. They are performing week in, week out, especially John Ram, right? He has had an unbelievable start to the year and he clinched the Masters. They aren't partaking in the interviews that he has. They aren't getting involved in all the politics of the golf course. So straight away, the two people above you in the world rankings are doing far less than you in terms of social media so they can actually concentrate on what they should be doing. They're a professional golfer, right? They are paid to play golf. They are not paid to play politician. They're not paid to put their opinions forward in the media. They are paid right now to perform their best. And if we're not careful, we're gonna see Rory McIlroy take his angle away from golf and Actually, this is why I think it affects his golf, because if you have an interview, right, you could be harangued by a reporter, right? You hit one bad shot and you get annoyed by what that reporter said, right? That's going to have an effect within that round. We can all say he keeps things separately. It doesn't. We're all human, right? It rubs off, off course, on course. We see it with footballers. We see it in other sports when they're having a bad time off the pitch, it affects them on the pitch. And with golf being such a mental game as it is, He's definitely given himself an unfair advantage against not only the two players above him in the world rankings, but everybody else around him. Hence why the last 10 weeks, we've seen him miss cuts, we've seen him not play very well, and we've seen him take time away from the game. Now, what do you think on that point? I, only th I honestly think like it it's not good. It's not good from him. I think he has to be more selfish. Now, it's not been all doom and gloom. We have seen him play some very, very, very good golf. I mean, just take apart the, the Patrick Reed incident where he beat him earlier in the year. Remember, at the end of last year, he had some unbelievable golf, finishing number one. So it's not all doom and gloom, but I honestly just think it's coming to a front now where all this pressure off course is starting to mount up. Okay, let's get into point number three. Now, this is gonna be a very unpopular opinion in terms of if you're a massive PGA Tour fan. So let me know what you think of this one. I honestly think the PGA Tour have relied too heavily on Rory. Now, let me put it in perspective. If you take it away from golf, Rory is effectively a subcontractor, right? He is a person who works or plays on the PGA Tour. 
but he's doing what a subcontractor shouldn't do. He's being the forefront of the main overleafing business. Now, I don't get that. I really, really don't get that. Now, I know he feels a sense of responsibility in terms of the Player Advisory Council, but surely, right, this is how the Player Advisory Council should work. He speaks to all the players, the, he then speaks to the PJ Tour. It shouldn't be, right, Rory speaks to the players, Rory speaks to the PJ Tour, then Rory comes to the forefront. Again, I'm going to say it, all these things, no matter if they're big, small, or medium-sized problems, they're gonna have an effect on your performance. Do you get what I'm saying right here? Rory has to get back to playing golf. Rory has to be back being a subcontractor where he just turns up, he plays his golf, he performs, he practices, he goes home. Right now, I know he's trying to change golf and I know he feels a sense of responsibility, but it's gotta stop. It has to stop. I made the point earlier in this video that Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus would have never done this in their day. And I truly believe that they wouldn't. They would have had something to say about it, but they wouldn't have taken it upon themselves to be the face of it. And I honestly think it's laziness in terms of the PJ Tour. They have let that happen. They've gone, oh, Rory's number one in the world. He was at this point. Oh, Rory's playing well. Go on, Rory. Shout it a bit louder if we can. No, that has to stop. The PJ Tour, Jay Monaghan, whoever it is, has to be the face of this, has to face the problem up front. And I guess we have seen him do more interviews, but honestly, there is too much pressure on Rory to be the face of golf right now. And that is affecting his performance. And that, in my opinion, is only going to have a negative effect. And until this stops, until actually Rory goes away from being part of that, I don't see his golf improving. I really, really don't. Now, in all this, as I said, he has had some good performances and we do have to remember that Rory is still number three in the world. But what could he be? Could he have got rid of the Masters Voodoo, right? Could he have got rid of the Masters Voodoo? Now, last point I wanna to add to this in point number three. If we go back to the Masters and that whole performance must have really, really hurt Rory. I think he felt a sense of, I'm gonna show them how good I am compared to the live golfers. And I believe that's why he took on the interview. You know, the interview where I know a lot of you absolutely slated him across social media. And I'll be honest, I quite liked the interview. I thought it was really, really good, him walking down the fairway. And from a viewer's point of view, we got a great insight. But him missing the cut, him being at the forefront, him doing that interview, all came to a spearhead where it's like, should I have done that? Maybe he started questioning himself and maybe it was just too much pressure. Guys, what do you think about what I've said here? Am I right? Am I wrong? Is this being blown out of proportion? And next week, is he going to be mint? Don't forget, we are around the corner from the second major of the year, the US PGA Championship. I would for sure love Rory to perform well, but I'm going to say right now, if there was a battle, live golfer, let's say Brooks Koepka, let's say even Phil Mickelson versus Roy McIlroy, I don't see him coming out on top right now. And I know that's a massive statement. As I said, he's number three in the world. Maybe I'm blowing it out of proportion, but let me know in the comments. Has anything that I've said right now swayed your opinion from what you put at the start to what we're thinking right now? Guys, thanks so much for joining me on today's Bat9 video. Don't forget, this is your home of breaking news all about the golf industry. So do subscribe and turn the bell so you never miss a breaking news story.